Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vangelos Janitsis. I am uh, head of the chest pain unit at the Heidelberg University Hospital and I'm a biomarker specialist and today I want to guide you through the diagnostic algorithms in suspected non-ST segment elevation acute coronary syndrome in the era of high sensitivity troponins. With the advent of more sensitive troponin assays, uh, we are able to identify smaller infarcts or uh, infarcts earlier than before. So by reducing the diagnostic threshold from high concentrations to low concentrations, we uh, reduce the so-called troponine blind window so we can detect smaller infarcts or infarcts earlier. And that is very important because we are um, facing a very busy emergency department in many hospitals worldwide. We call that phenomenon an overcrowding. You can see on the left side of this uh, picture the, the many people who are waiting to be seen by doctors, who wait for therapies. And uh, on the right side, you can see that the numbers of patients who present to emergency departments in the UK was increasing very fast, while the numbers of um, um, confirmed infarcts or confirmed unstable angina as a part of the spectrum of acute coronary syndrome was stable or was even slightly declining. So more patients present with unspecific chest pain and challenge emergency departments because um, they, they uh, increase the workload to them. And decongestion of such crowded emergency departments is of paramount importance. ESC guideline recommendations from 2020. Now always recommend the measurement of high sensitivity troponin uh, for patients with suspected uh, non-ST segment elevation SCS. The blood draw should be uh, taken immediately and the results should be um, back after uh, 60 minutes. If this is not possible, then there is a necessity to have uh, a point of care test that allows faster reporting times. And uh, guidelines recommend fast protocols with the preference of the 0 and 1 hour algorithm uh, over the 0 and 3 hour algorithm and a 0 and 2 hour algorithm is a, an alternative to the 0 and 1 hour algorithm um, so far the, uh, the guidelines. How can we enforce such fast protocols in uh, daily life? How can we ensure that we are able to take blood draws in intervals of 60 minutes? So the guideline authors recommend to ignore the result of the first blood draw, to take the second blood draw um, as a default, um, so after a fixed uh, interval of 60 minutes and then interpret both results together. But this may be associated with additional costs in the lab because in about 30 to 40 percent um, rule out or rule in of a patient may be feasible using a single blood test at admission alone. So um, uh, most, the most recent survey on the use of high sensitivity troponin showed that only about 41% of hospitals worldwide use high sensitivity and many hospitals don't use the appropriate 99th percentile um, values that should be used. And if we look at the fast protocol implementation, the 0 and 1 hour protocol, the 0 and 2 hour protocol, and even a 0 and 3 hour protocol that is recommended by ESC guidelines since 2011, the, uh, the rates of adoption are quite low. As you can see in this figure, for 0 and 1 hour protocol, the rates across uh, all continents is mostly 10 or slightly above 10 percent. Now, the quality of point of care tests has improved. The sensitivity is getting better and better. And the first high sensitive troponin I assays used on a point of care platform are now available as commercial essays, 
One example is the PathFast uh, troponin I assay that has been cleared by the FDA as a high sensitivity point of care troponin assay. And for this assay, a fast protocol is already available with the ESC recommended zero and one hour retesting. And to be very specific, um, the concentrations that are used here for immediate rule out based on a single very low troponin are three nanogram per liter. The concentration with its concentration change for rule out based on a low concentration is four nanogram per liter and uh, a concentration change of uh, three nanogram per liter for rule in. We have a, a very high concentration defined as a troponin I of 90 nanogram per liter or a concentration change of more than 20 nanogram per liter. And with these specifications, we are able to have a negative predictive value that is important for rule out of 100% with a sensitivity of 100% and the specificity, and that is the problem of almost all. Uh, more sensitive troponin assays that is quite low, so it's 46.5 percent. For this reason, we need serial testing and clinical judgment. And the proportion of patients that can be ruled out based on this uh, troponin sequence is 37.2 uh, percent, which is uh, very, very similar to the performance of other fast tests. And uh, this is a, a table um, showing that um, uh, the PathFast um, troponin I assay is already included in the ESC guidelines 2020, is shown here. For the 0 and 1 hour algorithm, this is the table above. We have the recommendation and also the specific concentration changes that I, I alluded before. And you can see that the zero and, one, uh, zero and two hour algorithm is less well elaborated and is not available for all commercially available troponin I assays, particularly newer troponin I assays have still to work on the concentration change and thresholds for diagnosis. So this is something that uh, the PathFast has already um, established. Thank you very much for your audience and Hope to see you uh, again.